Hey there my friends, this is Dr. Killjoy bringing you another how to find certain shit in Bloodborne and today we're going to be looking for every single item in the Forbidden Forest and by that I mean every gear, weapon, arcane item, runes, and a tonsil stone. I think it's a key item. Anyways, I'm going to show you how to get all of those in one trip hopefully without dying. And if anything, I'll show all the shortcuts. That way, if you do that, you just go through the shortcut without wasting that much time. I also suggest to take these items, especially the cocktails and the throwing knives, so that it can make a certain area much more easier. Of course, you don't need it. If you're confident in your skill, you can just go and kick their ass. But if not, just bring these items and it will help out for sure. So without further ado, let's do it. All right, my friends, we're going to start off by going through that bridge and keep it to the left making sure that this guy with the gun does not shoot us bah miss so you just keep going down until you, you can make a right and you're gonna see like a little cliff that you just roll down roll down again and just run straight through to that metal pretty looking area and then you make a left just keep following my character hug the wall if you have to and then up here you're gonna see a shed with a red lantern and this is where Patches the Spider is located. Um, he gives you the tonsil stone and this is where he initially is found. If he's not here, do not worry, I will show you where to get it in the description. Once you obtain it, just move on and make a left at this location. And then when you make a left, you won't aggro the dogs out of their cage. And this is the entrance to Eosefka's clinic. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to get there at, at this moment, but just know this is the cave that leads you to it. I'll show you how to get there and get all the goodies on another video. So let's get back to the forest. We're going to go down here and we're going to make a right and go up the ladder. Just know that this crow might hit you on the way up. But don't worry, he only does like minimal damage. When you come up, kill this crow and obtain your first prize, the white church outfit. Once you pick it up, roll down or go down the stairs, doesn't matter. Get ready to juke some dogs. After you do that, take the long way around the tree and then pick up your item. If you go the long way, you could maybe not aggro the dog inside. Now run straight, and this is, might be a little tricky, so just, I suggest just running straight through. Just run like my character is doing. When you get here, drop down, and do not stop rolling. Keep rolling, roll, and roll until about here, and they see where this enemy is. There's a bloodstone shard there in case you want to upgrade your item. If not, just turn around and go to where I'm going, and we're going to unlock our first shard. Uh, our first shortcut so you go in here and you will see that the shortcut is where the big hole in the middle is if you don't know how to find this i'll show you how to get here in case you die so instead of taking the path that goes up to where patches is as you can see here you're just gonna turn around and, and go right instead of left and then hug the wall to the right that way you don't get lost and you will see the next shortcut this is all like preferably you should be at the highest brightness so that you can find all this and not get lost after that you could turn it down at this point you're gonna want to go and rush this hill but with full stamina as you can see he shoots a cannon he's a terrible shot he shoots it again he kills a teammate what an asshole he should be demoted friendly fire Anyways, uh, go down and make a left and jump down and there's going to be an enemy to your left. I suggest to fight him. Don't just rush up the ladder. Fight him because he will follow you up there. So try to time the shot and just repost him and he's dead. And he will more than likely drop some blood vials. Yeah. So, at this point, you're going to... 
see an NPC. He's called the uh, Afflicted Beggar. And there's a few things that you can do with this NPC. One, you can send him to the chapel, the church. Two, you can send him to Iosefka's uh, clinic. And, you know, he'll, he'll be passive and you could just kill him and receive his beast room. Or, third option, just kill him right here and now. If you don't want to go through all that. Just know that he's feeding on some corpses. I don't think you want a guy like that, you know, around the church with other survivors. Just, uh, just a warning. Anyways, after you make your decision, go uh, leave, follow my character, and watch your footing here. You could easily fall off. Drop down here, and behind you will be the cannon. The most badass weapon. Requires very high strength, though. Now, follow how my character drops down to minimize uh, fall damage. So, the door to my right is gonna be the third shortcut. I haven't shown you the second one yet, but just know this is where the third one is located. So, if you get through this without dying and you get to the shortcut, it's, this is where it's located. So, just follow my character outside this uh, doorway. And we are going to reach the second shortcut uh, pretty uh, shortly. Juke him. Go up this uh, hill. And this is where the second shortcut is. I suggest you go up there. Open the gate. And, you know, do whatever you want. Go back to the, to the, the you know, the lantern. When you're done, come back down. Uh, and follow my character with a burning lantern, literally a lantern on fire, and get ready for a jump. We jump! <laughs> okay, at this point, at the very end, there's an item and an enemy hiding to the tree to the left. You don't need to pick up the item, but if you need to upgrade your weapon, go ahead and pick it up. He hits me, that axe has ridiculous range. I say, screw it, I'm going out. So, I know he's still behind me, but you know he's he won't catch us. We're too cool, right? So this item is another bloodstone shard. Pick it up if you want. It's on the way. Why not? Here I'm gonna walk. That way we don't get lost, cause it's very easy to get lost here. If you see this tree, you're going the right way. Um, so we're gonna go up this hill. Let's try and pick up the pace a bit. And there's gonna be a giant snake. Hide behind the trees. Just two or three trees you can hide behind and then back here you will find the the rune what's it called clear deep sea I believe so you get the clear deep sea here and then just go back the same way you came in behind those trees move left and right so you won't get hit by the venom spit so down here you're gonna make a left make sure to watch this snake and watch this spit as you saw now you get ready for another jump once you're ready make the jump Hopefully you make it, and boom, we're gonna get the next set of gear, the Grave Guard mask and the outfit. Mask to the left, outfit to the right. After you obtain these items, drop down and ignore that monster, you don't need to worry about him. Do not go up that path, if you see this big tree, you went the right way so look to your right and you're gonna see two snakes these are the snakes that i'm talking about the easiest way to deal with them is with molotovs and throwing knives um choose whoever order you want whatever works best for you i will use the throwing knives and a little bit of molotovs just for fun so make sure to watch the snake in the back as you saw da hit and throw and dodge throw and dodge repeat like that until you kill him By no means this is the only way to kill it. You could run up there and you know fight a face to face. If you have a long range weapon, you can do it. I use my whip, but I sometimes still trade hits with him, so I would rather just throw shit at it. Yeah, try using my whip. I know I'm gonna trade eventually. So you can choose how, whatever you're comfortable with these guys are annoying as shit so after you kill them you're gonna get your next rune the deep sea rune which is located here once you pick it up follow my character and we're gonna exit 
to the right and go up uh, and go up a hill and we're gonna see another big snake if you see the big snake you're going the right way and look across and we're gonna fall down this little ledge if that's what you call it this little ledge and you're gonna see these adorable little squishy things they look like I don't know they're, they're, they're adorable so kill them all is what I would suggest to do because they're annoyingly sneaky and they drop gemstones which are pretty helpful this early in the game so once you kill them uh, get ready to fight those two Japanese tentacle looking things they hit hard if you have a weapon with you know horizontal attacks uh, hit multiple enemies use it once you're done you could pick up uh, the anti-clockwise metamorphosis room. What a freaking mouthful. Anyways, there's another squishy. No need to touch him. Just leave him be. So now I'm going to show you the third shortcut that we were talking about earlier, which is straight across on this beautiful scenery with these firefly things. Bloodborne, I, would, I thought they would like suck your life in something or some crazy shit like that. There's going to be an enemy to the left behind this tree. Hug the far right so you don't touch him. As you can see, uh, there's the third shortcut. You know, go there, touch it, and then come back down like my character is doing now. And we're going to make a left, and we're going to go kill a pig. A giant man-eating pig. Now, the best way to fight it, in my opinion, is not from a distance, but literally right in front of it or behind it. Go up to his face. Get behind it, aim the attack, boom, that's it. He's dead. He taunted and he died, and you humiliated it in the worst way possible. I bet you that's illegal in many places. So, the next item you're gonna get is gonna be this narrow branch looking thing. There's gonna be these, I don't know what they're called, I'll call them drowners. They're extremely, extremely weak to fire. I know I get kind of owned here, but if you want, just throw. Molotovs at it. Look how much damage it does. It's really good. So after you kill these guys, you can obtain the dissipating lake room, which would be to the left. Uh, the wall. The corpse on the wall. And then we have one more item to pick up. And after that that that's that wraps it up for the forbidden forest and then you can fight the shadow of Yarnum boss he's another pig do the same thing before get behind it stab it in his ass and boom it's game roasted pig look there's a fire and everything just go cook it pick up with the blood vials that it most likely drops and follow this path and uh, to your left is where the Shadows of Yarn and Boss is located, but we're not going to go down here yet. We got one more item to pick up. We go up here, and there's going to be a gate that's closed, you know, initially closed. So just open it and just pick it up. This guy has a headache, it seems. Pick up the item, just go back through the gate, and uh, either go fight the boss or go back and. You level up with the, your blood echoes from killing the snakes and the pigs. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'm sorry again for not keeping up with my videos, but I, I'm trying. And now I'm going to go try and kick this boss's ass. Fuck!